They say when you love your job, every day is a vacation. And if that's the case, Laura Stance has never worked a day in her life. She's a part-time instructor, part-time corporate pilot, and full-time aviation addict. When I was small, somebody took me up in a little two-seat airplane and let me fly the plane, and I was hooked. I was seven years old. I started saving my money when I was 11 or 12, and by the time I was uh, 19, I had saved up enough to be able to take flying lessons, and I've been flying ever since. If you ever find her on the ground, it's usually at events like Marion's annual Fly-In Cruise-In, offering a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to soar through the air in a piece of history, a T-6 Texan a single-engine aircraft used to train fighter pilots in World War II. You can feel the history as soon as you sit in it. You can feel the people that went before you, the men and even some women from World War II who learned how to fly and how to fight in, in that airplane and defend their country. There's just something about the sound and the smell and the feel. It's, it's pretty hard to describe, but it, you are flying history, and it is quite an honor. The history becomes even more real for Laura when she gets the opportunity to show off the plane or share the cockpit with those who fought alongside these aircrafts years ago. A lot of times a veteran would come up and tell me a story and his family would be standing right there and they would look at each other and they would be shocked and they, we'd never heard that before. They don't always like to talk about things like that but when they would see these airplanes they'd come up to me and say one of these airplanes saved my life in Korea or my uncle learned to fly in one of these and you just listen to those stories and it just creates such an amazing sense of, of honor to be able to represent the real pilots of those airplanes. It's a challenging aircraft to pilot and Laura says she still gets some looks of disbelief when she takes off her helmet to reveal her long red hair. It's the first time I've been into a place and they're not familiar with me. When I get out there are usually surprised gasps or people will come up to me and say something. One woman told me that, uh, walked up to me and said that I'd won her a lunch bet because when I came in she told her husband that there was a girl flying that and he said, no way. It's large, it's loud, it's 600 horsepower. It's not forgiving. Um, you make a mistake in that airplane, it will bite you. You feel manly flying it. <laughs> I don't know how to put that, <laughs> but you do. For Laura, flying the T-6 is about honoring memories, and not just those of the veterans familiar with the aircraft, but also memories of her own. My husband and I had two children who passed away from the disease SMA, and so every year we host this fundraiser and we give rides with the Checker Tail T6 and we donate the proceeds, proceeds of that towards uh, spinal muscular atrophy SMA support. Laura knows life can be just as unforgiving as the planes she flies, but she hasn't let the past keep her grounded. And what started as a part-time passion has become a full-time commitment to helping others. I can't imagine doing anything else. It's a piece of my soul and to be able to use that for work and be able to do it to benefit other groups, I can't imagine anything better than that. <laughs>